the world's largest coffee franchise was just issued a devastating blow to their customer base that was already on life support after they let their liberal politics mix with their brand. If the bitter burn taste of Starbucks doesn't leave a bad enough taste in your mouth, their catering to Islam and hate for President Donald Trump probably does. But now what their coffee was just tested positive for will send even their staunchest liberals supporters over the edge. Starbucks public relations person has probably been working overtime to cover the company's backside from the second they alienated conservatives, but now their work has really cut out for them after unfortunate test results prove what they have been snicka in into their cup of joe. The company SCO telling customers who supported traditional marriage to get their coffee somewhere else turned out be doing right-wingers a favor who were spirit consuming more of their dangerous beverages considering the nasty punch they have in them that millions of customers have been unaware they're drinking. For Starbucks pledge to hire 10,000 Muslim refugees to rebuke President Trump's initial travel ban back in January, they committed enterprise suicide. That disgusting decision made people wonder what would happen to the quality of their product and customer service with illiterate third world people with foul customs running shops. That nightmare has just come to fruition, perhaps regardless of the refugees hiring spree, with test results proving that Starbucks is literally full of crap. Conservative Daily Post reports. Many people around the world enjoy iced coffee and other cool drinks from baristas employed by Starbucks, Caf, Nero, and Costa Coffee. However, they may want to think twice before ordering again. The BBC's watchdog program performs consumer affairs checks on popular businesses. Their latest discovery found fecal bacteria in samples from the three popular coffee chains. Yes, that's right. Bacteria that is present in feces is now included with customer S ice at Starbucks, Caf, Nero, and Costa Coffee. Samples taken from various stores found changeable levels of contamination. Head of policy at the Chartered Institute of Environmental Health Tony Lewis said that the amounts were concerning. He added that the bacteria should not be present at any level, never mind the significant numbers found. The investigation tested 30 different branches of the chain to make this determination, which included taking samples to check how sanitary the tables, trays, and eyes are. While this is probably not the first test of Starbucks products, it s is the only one to result in evidence that the new item on the menu is actual fecal matter that customers are getting from free with their overpriced beverages. It has probably of no coincidence that this comes soon after doves of dirty refugees were handed out employment to make a political point that has clearly backfired on the company now. After all of the travel ban debate on the tug of war on this executive order between liberal judges and our president, the Supreme Court decided to officially uphold Trump's wishes on the matter. This resolve led to Starbucks immediately speaking out to say that they strengthening their commitment of hiring Muslim refugees. They followed through by bringing on 2,500 in England and other parts of Europe, right before fecal matter showed up in their products. The problem with hiring and accepting refugees is the cultural hygienic difficulties it creates. In Germany and France, the situation is so dire that a company has invented a multicultural toilet, comma, conservative Daily Post explains. Despite pictogram instructions, third world invaders don't understand how to use Western facilities. Many migrants will have never seen toilet paper before, comma, writes one Deutsche Well journalist. He added, refugees nationwide have squatted on toilet trims or the floor of the bathroom. Others have relieved themselves in the shower stalls leaving behind human excrement on the floors. While this did happen in England, there is no saying that Americans aren't drinking fecal matter here since it hasn't been tested. The overseas tests were somewhat inconclusive about if the sick edition came from the ice or someplace else in the process, but the problem remains that it is getting into people drinks and has the potential of causing illness in customers. People are paying far too much for a simple coffee to get a heaping dose of crap politics and actual crap with it. Time to switch your fix to someplace local where customers are appreciated and not isolated. Isolated.